This video is sponsored by Squarespace. From websites and online stores to marketing tools and analytics, build your online presence with Squarespace. Hey everyone, I'm Ace of Clay and welcome to another sculpting video. If you're new here, I'm a sculptor and every week I make a new sculpture. Today I'm sculpting Denji from the manga series Chainsaw Man. This sculpture was a blast to make. There are so many details on this thing. This sculpture is a little different than what I'm used to making, a lot more mechanical, but overall I really enjoyed every step of this process and I hope you enjoy watching me do it. And before we start sculpting, new print, aceofclay.com. Check out that holographic finish, available while supplies last. And then my friend Nerdy Crafter just released her brand new coloring set. It features a bunch of beautiful illustrations that are based off her sculptures that she's done in the past. So you get this like nice folder here and then all of the coloring pages are right here. There's a ton of them and they're on super thick, super nice paper. And the set also comes with some watercolor paint brushes where you just like add water to these and a little watercolor set right here and some awesome colored pencils. This whole set is available right now at the link below for a limited time only. So if you wanna get your hands on Nerdy Crafters amazing coloring set, be sure to grab it before it's gone. And now without further ado, let's sculpt Denji. Alright, let's get started. I'm going to make the armature, creating one side first and then mirroring it to create the other. Now I just added a small piece of wire for the neck and we're tying both sides together with some smaller gauge wire. Like that. And there we go. There's his skeleton. Now I'm going to form a base out of some aluminum foil like so get that into shape this is just going to be a sort of rocky landscape and then we're going to cover this in some ultralight and get that nice and bulked out and ready for clay position him how we want bulk out that torso and then get him in the oven and once he's baked and completely cooled down it's time to start covering him with clay let's go ahead and add his arms and get that chest covered this is super sculpy original now I'm going to add some stretch marks and wrinkles in the pants by adding some snakes of clay and blending those in. If you're not new to my channel, this is a very familiar process. <laughs> Now we're going to do the same thing with the shirt, making the stretch lines go from side to side because his arms are going to be sort of splayed out beside him. Now I'm going to finish off the waistline of his pants with the snake of clay and I'm going to blend the bottom edge in with everything else. And there you go. All of a sudden he's wearing pants. Now I just need to bulk up those thighs a little bit more and add a couple more folds and wrinkles here and there. After giving him a neck, I'm going to go ahead and give him a collar. And now for some tiny little buttons. Now I'm going to go ahead and pop on a cosplay tie that's sort of blowing in the wind. Now that his tie is done, let's go ahead and finish off his pants with a nice belt. After some finishing touches, it's time to get this guy in the oven for his pre-bake. And once he's baked and completely cooled down, let's go ahead and make those chainsaws that he's gonna have on each arm and sticking out of his head. After finishing those, let's go ahead and pre-bake these and come back to them later. 
while those puppies are in the oven, let's go ahead and finish the base, just adding some clay to the surface, and then I'm going to rub my fingers all over it until it looks like stone. <laughs> That's the best way to describe what I'm doing here. Time for the sponsor. All right, we're gonna take a quick break from our video to talk about our sponsor, Squarespace. Whether you're a big business, a small business, a freelance designer, or a sculptor like me, Squarespace has everything you need to showcase your brand, sell your products, and more. I've been using Squarespace for over four years now, even before they started sponsoring me, and I could not be happier with my experience. Their products are so streamlined and so easy to use that managing my website, aceofclay.com, is truly a breeze. Some of my favorite features include the portfolios and galleries. In my line of work, I have to show my art to the world and Squarespace's beautiful portfolios allow me to do just that. I opened my online store where I sell stickers, posters, plushes, and more. And Squarespace makes everything so easy. I can track my inventory, print shipping labels, I get notifications when something sells, and everything I need is right there in the platform. You can even sell digital downloads. They really have everything you need to start selling online. And at this day and age, if you're an online business, you've got to have a social media presence and Squarespace allows you to integrate all of your social media platforms into any page of your website. So if everything I said sounds good, head on over to squarespace.com, start a free trial, and when you're ready to go live, go to squarespace.com slash aceofclay to save 10% on your purchase of a website or domain using my code aceofclay. Thanks again Squarespace for sponsoring this video, now back to our sculpture. Now to finish off the base and enhance the look of stone, let's add some cracks. And once the base is done, let's go back to the monotonous task of making the arms. And we're just gonna add some clay to those, breeze through that really fast, blend it into our cured clay. And then we can start the fun part, which is adding some wrinkles the easy way with a paintbrush handle. Add some more fingerprints and whatnot to that base. And then we're going to attach the chainsaws like so, inserting the notch around or inserting the wire inside of the notch in each chainsaw and then just hoping it stays in place while I attach the arm and it did so that's good now let's just adjust everything get it looking good I'm gonna make the hand out of cosplay because he's gonna have some free fingers and I don't want those to break and of course cosplay stays flexible and it's looking pretty good let's go ahead and finish off the other one now his head. His head is the motor and handle of the chainsaw, or of a chainsaw, and we're just going to start with the back of it, like so, just adding some sort of mechanical shapes and indents into this nice rectangle shape. Stick on our handle, and then we can stick on the mouth part, starting with the top, and then we are going to poke a bunch of pre-baked teeth into that. Another familiar process. So let's go ahead and get all these details squared away. Now let's pop in our teeth and then using an Excel tweezer set makes it a lot easier. Use code Ace of Clay at ExcelBlades.com to save 15% on your purchase. Now we're just going to add a skewer for the neck just so I can hold on to it while I'm doing everything else. Now I'm going to press my third chainsaw into the top of his head. This is reinforced with a piece of wire because I don't want it to droop in the oven. Now let's finish up his shoes. Lastly, I'm popping on his head with some bacon bond and we're going to bake him one final time. And once he's baked and completely cooled down, it's time for paint. The paints that I'm using are Army Painter and Folk Art and Americana. Mad Acrylics. <laughs> Let's go ahead and get that shirt painted with the color Mummy Robes. Now moving on to all of the metallic areas and black areas, we're going to paint these black metallics always look best over black as opposed to other lighter shades of gray just because it gives it more of a shift and it looks shinier.
now that all our black is on let's go ahead and paint that head pure red this is a very vibrant beautiful red look at that And I'm sorry, there's nothing more satisfying than painting metallics over black. Just look at that. Look at that coverage. Now I'm going to use a toothbrush and flick on some blood spatters. Now let's finish up the base and call this guy done. Now I'm going to dry brush a lighter gray onto the base, bring out all that detail and texture. Now, say it with me. And he's done! Denji from Chainsaw Man is complete. Let me know how you think I did in the comments. Look at this sculpture. It's so, I don't want to say like outside of my norm, but it's not, I don't know. It's just, I don't typically sculpt mechanical looking things like this. So it was pretty rewarding finishing this guy up. I think it came out really cool. I know I say that every time, but you know, there's only so much you can say about the sculptures that you make yourself. But anyway, um, I had a fun time jumping back into fan art this week. I really hope you enjoyed the process and I wanna know what you wanna see me make next. So let me know in the comments below. And as always, thank you so much for watching and being here. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Check me out on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at Ace of Clay. And I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.